Hello, I'm Jack from Twinkle and you caught me relaxing by playing my favourite video game. Now I know that children love gaming, but have you ever thought about mixing gaming and learning? Today we're going to take a look at some video game themed resources on the Twinkle website you can use to engage your learners. Let's start at level 1. First up, can your learners design their own character? Now they will have played all sorts of games with very different protagonists. Human or animal, short or tall, brave or cowardly. Start off with this create a video game character sheet. This will help them to form the outline for their new character. This exercise ties neatly into fiction writing. Use it alongside this writing a character description resource pack, full of word mats to support vocabulary and worksheets to build layer upon layer of their character. With this support, your learner should be able to write a very vivid description of their video game character. These creative writing activities, coupled with this video game context, should engage your learners to think further ahead to the rest of their game, like how would they describe the setting? Begin this activity by playing a variety of different games with your learner, but task them with focusing on the settings for these adventures. Put the controller down and task them with using their senses of sight and sound. How would they describe what's around them using their best adjectives? The endless cold harshness of space. The humid and mysterious jungle. The secluded and glimmering ocean. After thinking about existing settings in games and some interesting adjectives to describe these, have a look at this writing a setting description pack. As before with character descriptions, this pack is crammed full of activities to draw out your learner's best adjectives and word mats and posters to support their writing. The pack will help to encourage some interesting descriptive sentences, including the use of figurative language like similes or onomatopoeia, sensory descriptions to help draw in the reader, and descriptions of both movement and reactions of the character within the setting. Couple these first two activities together and very soon your learners will begin to connect their video game experiences with creative writing. They'll realise they already have a wealth of ideas, not just with characters and setting, but with villains, plots, challenges to overcome. Loads of ideas to inspire some fantastic creative writing. Let's take a quick step sideways now from fiction writing to non-fiction writing. After playing a game, has your learner ever considered writing a review about it? Your learner might have written a book review before. Go over what is usually included with this book review checklist. Have they commented on characters they liked? Have they written a short summary? Without giving away the ending, of course. Have they used powerful verbs and adjectives for further detail? And who would they recommend the book to? But before they write their video game review, stop and think about the similarities and differences between a book and a video game that would be important when writing a review. Of course, both can have a plot, characters, settings, villains, challenges for the character to overcome. However, books only have one ending, whereas video games can often have many. Games can also come with a challenge. They can be too easy or too difficult. Finally, they can use this video game review template to write their review. Your children have been hard at work, so it's time to relax with a good game. But first, 
consider looking at this online gaming safety guide, a handy reference tool for parents and guardians. This comprehensive guide contains a list of do's and don'ts to ensure your child is always safe when playing with friends online and get the most out of their time playing. Okay, now it's really time for them to sit down and relax with a good game, with these gaming challenges. These challenges are another way to connect video games and learning together. So they might have already designed a brand new video game character, or written a review about a video game, but have they considered designing an advert for their favourite game to encourage others to play it? Have they tried designing a brand new games console? Or how about composing a theme song for a new game? Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the Twinkle Key Stage 2 YouTube channel, and join us again soon.